our conversation, Lori Garrett, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, foreign policy magazine columnist, health policy analyst, and one of our favorite people to turn to on the days when the news makes us very afraid. Today is one of those days, Lori. Yes, indeed. Well, you know, Nicole, I wish we only had one variant to worry about, the UK variant, which, as you said, has dramatically, dramatically increased the speed of spread of the virus within the UK to the degree that now they're talking about running out of vaccine, about stretching it out over a longer period of time, perhaps foregoing second dose uh, boosters entirely, or at least for many months to come because the crisis is so grave. Well, meanwhile, the Minister of Health of the UK today said, hey, you think we've got a tough variant, you should see the one in South Africa. And, in, and Ashley said straight out that he thought it might not be amenable to responding to existing vaccines, that the South African strain mm -hmm. was so heavily mutated that the spikes that stick out on the surface of the virus um, that are what the antibodies attach to um, were completely misshapen and would not be recognized by the antibodies that are produced uh, by the vaccines that are currently available. South Africa, of course, refutes this, uh, but this is the state that we're in right now. Lori, the... Um I want to ask you two questions and, and, and just give you some time to, to talk about both. Is there anything that's happened in the UK that hasn't happened here too? And one of the things that they're doing in the UK, I think schools have ended up being a brighter spot than expected in, in terms of not necessarily being super spreader venues. The UK has moved to close primary schools. Do you see, one, everything that's happening in the UK eventually happening here, and two, do you think shutting down all schools that aren't already shut down is inevitable here? Well, Nicole, the key difference between the U.S. and the U.K. is they have a national policy and we don't. They have national leadership of yeah. public health and we, we do not. They have national singular uniform policy set out through their socialized medicine program, as detractors call it, the National Health Service. We have nothing of the kind. So... Uh, I don't think it's possible really to compare how the two countries would respond because in our case, it's up to every single state to come up with their own strategy. For example, here in New York, even as we face the new variant um, having been confirmed in New York state, uh, it, the governor today swore that within two weeks in the entire state, plus all staff working in those nursing homes will be fully vaccinated or at least have received the first dose. That's a remarkable promise. We'll see if he can keep it. Many other states have made completely different decisions. Florida, for example, anyone over 65 can get vaccinated, whether they're out surfing and full-bodied adult or they're uh, infirm and uh, non-ambulatory inside a nursing home. So there are inconsistencies and it's impossible to imagine a national lockdown policy given how fragmented our response capacity is. I think the country that we should really be paying attention to is not the UK, it's Israel, which has now vaccinated 13% of its population, thinks they will have completely vaccinated the entire nation with, by the end of January with possibly both doses and uh, is, is pushing ahead at lightning speed. Now there's an example, of course, Israel does have a national policy, and Israel does have one of those socialized medicine situations with a national health policy, which, again, we don't have. Are you right now hopeful, more hopeful or more frightened? Well, I think the next six to eight weeks are going to be terrifying in the United States. And I think anyone who is trying to convey, you know, rose tinted glasses view of what we're going to go through between now and March is just not paying attention. We're going to see our death toll skyrocket. We're going to see case numbers skyrocket. And just as we have already seen one blunder after another, one 
ineptitude after another in uh, getting vaccines uh, where they need to go and into the arms of those who need them. That will continue. Um, there will be improvements in some states, but it will not be uniform. And we're going to see just a really tough, tough period as the cumulative impact of Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's slams us across the nation. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.